Hello and good evening. Welcome to WTTPS News. I am your anchor woman, AJ Marie. I will be giving you the latest in plus size news, fashion, celebrity gossip, all that good stuff. You know what I mean? So, if you want to see the latest and greatest in the world today, stay tuned. <laughs> First, I want to give my monthly shout out and that goes to Jesse Williams. If you haven't seen his BET acceptance speech, I don't know what is wrong with you, but he definitely deserves my shout out this month. He was just simply amazing. Now let's get into some juicy gossip, okay? What is the tea this month? So this June, Iggy Azalea and Nick Young finally broke up. And to be honest with you, this should have probably happened a long time ago. Just saying. So after his friend recorded him basically saying he would cheat on Iggy, I thought she'd been gone. On Instagram, she basically made a public statement saying that she is done with him for good this time. Next up, Kylie and Tiger are back in beautiful love again. I don't know, but they're back together. They were recently spotted holding hands. Weird, but you know what? Love is love. So, Abby Lee Miller. Like, when do you hear her in the news? If you don't know who Abby Lee is, she is the crazy lady from Dance Moms. Well, she is going to jail. Abby Lee was being a bad girl. So apparently she kept $755 million a secret while filing for bankruptcy. She's going away to jail for bankruptcy fraud. June 9th, Ashley Graham was backstage host at the Miss USA pageant looking fabulous and amazing. If y'all don't know, she's my queen. And I kind of have like body envy and she's amazing. And Ashley did an amazing job and was fashionable as always. Also, congratulations to the new Miss USA, Deshauna Barber. June 17th to 18th was CurvyCon and I'm kind of sad because I tried to win tickets and I failed. I failed. I won nothing. So in case you don't know, CurvyCon is an amazing convention for curvy women. It is so awesome. It is ran by Chastity Gardner, my idol, and Cece Olisa. Some of the guests included Goo Goo, who I love, Ashley Neal Tipton, Sherry Shepard, and so many more, including one of my favorite YouTubers, Alex from Learning To Be Fearless. June 6th was an amazing day. Tess Holiday welcomed baby boy Bowie Juniper. How cute is that name? Bowie was eight pounds, 10 ounces, and 22 inches long. Tess must be so proud, he's so cute. Jill Scott got married. Who knew she was even in a relationship? Not me, but hey. In her private home in Franklin, Tennessee, Jill Scott got married to her boyfriend, Mike Dobson. Apparently, the DJ, DJ Mars, was the one who spilled the tea. ASO Curves showed us new model Jordan Woods. I have been such a fan of Jordan Woods for a very long time. I'm embarrassed to say how long I knew about this young lady, but let's just say it was before Kylie Jenner. Jordan also models for the company Lovesick, which is sister company to Tori. Dasha Palenka was on Nylon Espanol looking freaking snatched, beat, sexy, amazing. If you don't know who Dasha is, what is wrong with you? The Orange is the New Black star shared these beautiful photos from her spread in Nylon Espanol. She looks so freaking amazing showing off those curves. She is one of my faves. Love her. So in May 
makeup news, ColourPop actually released their metallic lipsticks. If y'all didn't know, it was on the 24th. They have four amazing shades. So starting from the top, the colors are three-way queen, zebra, and man-eater. My favorites are zebra and man-eater. I really hope I can catch one of the restocks because they are sold out. Makeup Geek gave us a preview to their up-and-coming new products. So it looks like they're giving us really pretty glosses and also highlighters. And if y'all know anything about Makeup Geek, you know their eyeshadows are always like pigmented and popping. So I can't wait to see the new highlighters. Violet Voss is doing a collaboration with Laura Lee. Ah, uh, I've heard mixed reviews about this to be honest with you. So this palette costs about $45. I've been hearing so many mixed reviews. Some are good and some are absolutely terrible. I don't necessarily think I will purchase it, but the colors are still really amazing. Also, Mark Beauty actually gave us a preview to their Holiday 2016 collection, which looks freaking amazing. No word on the exact release date or the price, but I am definitely feeling the eyeshadow palette and also these amazing lipsticks. So now let's get into my BET Award red carpet fashion favorites. So first is Gabrielle Union. I just love the color. I love her skin tone with the braids, the slit going up to God knows where, the legs. So amazing. Love this dress. J. Hood just looks amazing. She's paying homage to Prince. Like, amazing. I think Janelle Monet just looks freaking like amazing and beautiful all the time. I love this outfit. It's sexy, it's retro, it's her. Like, I love it. I have no idea who this young lady is. I think she's a model, but her dress is giving me Chanel vibes, and I love Chanel, so I love this dress. The Toya Luckett is just giving me old Hollywood, and I love it. She looks beautiful. Next is this lovely young lady, and she just got a lot of body. Like, she looks gorgeous. Megan Good always looks freaking amazing. Like, I love this green on her. I love her twist. I love everything. She looks so beautiful. Issa Rae, Remy Ma, and Claudia Jordan look so beautiful in white. I do wish, however, Remy Ma covered up a little bit more of her chest, but I still think the dress looks amazing on her. We were giving my girl slack for her skirt, but I loved it. She looked gorgeous. I don't have many monthly favorites this month. I just have a few. So first, I would like to talk about the Palmer's Coconut Formal Oil, <laughs> Formula Oil um, Strong Root Spray. I really love this stuff, especially because I have braids in my hair. It definitely stops the itch for a temporary amount of time. The only thing I don't like about it is that it gets super wet and um, you gotta let it dry. So unless you're wearing your hair out in like a natural style, like it, you cannot wear this like if you press your hair out and spray this it will make it frizz because it gets wet and then dry so you can't use it that's why I said for my braids it's perfect when my hair is straightened no no my next favorite is my st. Ives daily moisturizing lotion it has vitamin E in it it just always just does the trick and feels amazing and I've had this forever it's fast absorbing it's non greasy it just gives me what I need and I love it my last two favorites are my Gerard Cosmetics right here. Hello. This is my Gerard Cosmetics lipstick. It is in the color Underground. I have it on now. I will swatch it for you really quickly on my hand because you know it looks different. 
it's so creamy it's so mm, it smells so freaking good I love it so pigmented I love this shade I have been stalking these two colors forever this one especially I have been stalking this is the color invasion this is their hydro matte liquid lipsticks I will swatch this right next to an ear I'm like girl they kind of look alike but you know they kind of look alike <laughs> But whatevs, man. I love it. Smells delicious. Love the color, like a light lavender color. They are really similar. I never noticed that before. But oh well, those are my monthly favorites. So that does it for me this afternoon. I hope you enjoyed all the new stories I brought to you today. And I am signing off your anchor woman, AJ Marie. Stay happy, positive, and blessed. Tess Holiday, Tess Holiday welcomes a baby boy on June 16th. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. That is a lie. And then I am signing off. Your anchor woman, AJ Marie. Stay positive. Plus happy. Positive happy. I hope. I hope this all works out, Moon, because...